Hey guys, this is Mr. Nectar himself bringing you another video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering a new feature that was added for Salient 4.8, which is animated anchor links. These are most commonly going to be used in one page websites where you're trying to animate the scroll position to different sections in your page. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Here's the page we're going to be working with today. As you may have noticed, it is actually the About Extended page that was imported from the Ascend dummy data. Now what we're going to do is set up some links in our menu over here, which is currently empty, to link to various different sections that we want to break up within this page. Now the first thing we need to do to start is head on over into the edit page screen for this. And let's go over the technique. So we're starting out within the visual composer tab and we can clearly see where each one of these rows is. Now essentially what you need to do is give each one of these rows a unique ID which will correlate with your menu links. So let's go in and start editing these rows. Once you have the dialog box open, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you will find the row ID input field. Now you can name these whatever you want as long as it matches up with what you're entering for your menu. So let's just keep this simple and do first as it is the first section of the page. And I'm gonna go down through the rest of the rows and continue adding second, third, fourth, etc. And I'm going to actually just skip ahead in that as to not bore you. Okay, so that's now completed and we can move on to the next step. Before we jump into actually editing the menu to set up the relationships between these links, we need to also go into the salient options panel and check that we have the one page scrolling feature active in the general settings tab. So head on over into there and verify that this option is actually enabled. Save your changes and then head on over into the Appearance Menus tab in your admin panel. Okay, so here we are at our blank menu, and let's begin adding some of these links. To keep everything simple, I'm going to continue naming all of the menu links according to the section ID that we have given as well. But the name could be whatever you want. What's important and what's gonna make this effect actually work is adding in the correct attribute for the URL. Now the way to link to an anchor is by adding a hash symbol followed by the name of the row ID. So since all of ours were named first, second, third, fourth, fifth, that's all we need to do is hash first, and then we can add that into here, et cetera. And we will continue doing that until we have all of our desired links on the menu. Okay, so now that I've added all of the links that we have for our page, we can save the menu and actually check what this is gonna do on the front now. Okay, so here we are back on the front end and we can see that all the menu links have indeed been added. Now, all we've really done so far is just set up standard HTML anchor links to various sections on the page. The difference is having that option active in the salient option panel for the animated scrolling is going to now change these links instead of jumping immediately to the section into animated links. So here we can start testing it by just clicking on the links and you can see that it is indeed scrolling to the section in which the relationship has been assigned for. And that's really all there is to it. I tried developing this in a simplistic and intuitive manner, and hopefully with this video tutorial, you'll gain a solid grasp on how to actually go about setting up one-page scrolling websites and animated links in general. As always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial. Please stay tuned, as there's going to be more coming going over even more of the new features that were added in Salient version 4.8. Cheers, guys!